today I wanted to do a pretty bright and colorful look using some of my Glamour Dot eyeshadows. I know this look is a tiny bit similar to, um, I think, a look or two that I've done before, but I just tend to gravitate towards this kind of look. But I really wanted to use some of these shadows that I had. I cleaned out a lot of my um, collection yesterday, and I was just kind of inspired to get back into using my Glamour Dot eyeshadows. So this is the look that I came up with. So I will zoom in so you guys can see it. And I do want to apologize in advance if you can hear stuff outside. I think my neighbor's leaf blowing or something, so primal time to make a video, right? <laughs> Alright guys, so if you'd like to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. So to start with this look, which I've already done, is I just applied some of my Max Painterly Paint Pot all over the lid and a little bit underneath the lower lash line. And then I just set that with some of Brulee from MAC. Now I'm just going to take a combination of Kid and Bamboo from MAC. And I'm just taking both of those on my Sigma E40 brush. And just blending that right into the crease. Next I'm going to take Flashback Friday from Glamour Dot Eyes, which is a very pretty kind of light purple color. And I'm just using my Crown Brush C412 brush. And I'm running this shadow right into the crease, but kind of staying above my crease line. So this is going to act as a blending color in the transition color. Next I'm going to be taking Victorian from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a darker purple with kind of a more um, deeper base. And I'm using my Sigma F63 brush. And this is going right in the crease area. Alright, next I'm taking Busted, which is a deeper blue color, and what I'm going to be doing is wetting the shadow and putting it on the inner and outer corners of the eyelid. And I'm just using my Sigma E58, and I just wet that with some Fix Plus from MAC. And then I almost forgot to, I'm going to lay down um, Glamour Doll Eyes Foil Me, and this is going to act as my base as well to help the eyeshadow stick to the lid. And then using that same brush, I'm going to be taking Jolie from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a very pretty kind of seafoam green color. And again, I'm going to use it wet. And the shadow is going to go right in the center of my lid. Right now, I'm going to be taking Undead from Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a very dark purple. And this color is just going to go right on the very outer portion of my crease. And that's why I'm using a small brush like this, so I can get it right in where I want it. Alright, so next I'm just going to wet my C408 from Crown Brush. And I'm going to use a little bit of Victorian, and I'm going to line the lower lash line with that. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of Undead on the outer portion of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Tawdry, which is a pretty kind of teal color. And I'm going to be using my Sedona Lace EB23 brush. And I'm just going to put this wet on the um, lower lash line on the inner portion. And I'm going in again with that mixture of Kid and Bamboo on a pencil brush just to kind of blend out the lower lash line a bit. Alright, so now I'm just going to tight line my upper and lower water lines and I'm just using my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil for that. And this is in Black Fever. And I'm also just going to apply some mascara. I'm using my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And my lashes are the Andrea number 21 lashes. And I'm also just going to do a winged liner and I'm using my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Liner Pen for that. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back to show you how to finish up the rest of the face. So for my bronzer, I'm just using my Jane Bronzer in Dream with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And for my highlight, I'm just going to be using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this one is in Moonstone. And I'm using my Sigma F35 brush.
And for my blush, I'm just taking Warm Soul from MAC, and I'm using my Sigma F40. And then for my lips, I already primed them with my MAC Prep and Prime, and I'm going to be lining them with NYX's Mahogany Lip Liner, and then I'm going to top that with NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this one is in Canis. Alright guys, so that is the completed look. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I will have a link down below to Glamour Doll Eyes where you guys can check out all of their shadows and their new collections and everything. So, like I said, that will be in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to follow me on all my social media networks. I have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I will have all of those linked down below. And if you'd like to see more pictures of this look as well as a full list of products used, please make sure to check out my blog which is also linked down below. Alright guys, I will talk to you all soon.